I'm about to tell you why I hide little images of Ouya game systems in my videos, but this is going to lead to a deeper conversation about a uh, characteristic of the retro gaming community. So don't get bored with this video. Keep watching. So yeah, I hide images of Ouya's in my videos. Sometimes it's off to the side, and sometimes it's hidden within an image that is shown in the video. Other times I use it to block sensitive information. This is basically an inside joke that's been going on a long, long time, and it has its origins in some of my older videos. I have been posting these game room tours for a very long time, and I do them about every two years. Older ones I used to post on a different channel. And in those videos, I would just show all the different game systems I have collected and how they're all connected in this room and stuff like that. I'm sure you guys have seen those types of videos before. But in some of those earlier ones from, I don't know, maybe seven, eight, ten years ago, I would read through the comments and I would get a lot of comments about the Ouya that I have hooked up to my gaming setup. There were a lot of people who just, just commented about the Ouya, not about all the other cool stuff I have going on in that room. Ouya, LOL, having an Ouya there degrades the room. Respect and Ouya don't belong in the same sentence, buddy. This one's in Spanish, but I'll translate it to English. Everything was fine until I saw the Ouya and changed the video. Greetings. I bet he owns the Ouya just as a novelty. That gave me chills. Ouya. The last man who still has an Ouya hooked up to a TV. My man got a Ouya. An Ouya? Seriously? Lost all my interest and respect. Bye. I'm gonna keep reading these because they're just so interesting, but eventually, like I said, I'm gonna move on to a broader point about all this. Can't believe someone still owns the Ouya. I feel so triggered whenever I see an Ouya console. Is that an Ouya? Flush it. Has Ouya instead of Game Boy Player? 3 out of 10. Well, I have a Game Boy Player. This is another phenomenon that happens in the comments that I get. People don't see something, so they assume that I don't own something. So if I don't show a toilet in my video, I guess I don't have a bathroom in this house or something. I feel bad for that Ouya. I bet it's not been on for years. It's just born dead. How functional can it be if you have an Ouya? The Ouya doesn't deserve to be in this sacred realm. Everything was awesome until I saw the Ouya. You should toss that piece of garbage away. No video game fan would keep an Ouya in their collection. Ouya, shit bucket. <laughs> you might... <laughs> Gosh. I saw the quote, Ouya, but why do you still keep that crap? They're the terrible Ouya. Ouya, ah ha 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 Even the other consoles are laughing on that room. Okay. Cool setup, but what the F with the Ouya? There's even a Ouya. Who would even buy one of those? Why the F's Ouya doing there? All credibility gone once I saw the Ouya. Laugh out loud, pretty normal to me. Nothing too weird until I saw the Ouya. I mean, why would you have an Ouya? Get Ouya here. Okay. <laughs> that's a t I don't know if that's meant to be funny or not. The only problem I see is that you have an Ouya. That's not a real gaming console. Okay. I only saw one shit. It's called Ouya. Probably you are the only man on earth which wanted to collect that crap. He he. Well, nobody tell this guy about John Hancock. The Ouya is a waste of space in this magnificent room. Get that garbage Ouya out of there. Um, why do you have an Ouya? You are disgusting. How can you possibly keep Ouya in the same room with the legends? Might as well put a phone somewhere too. Now you could probably appreciate my inside joke Ouya's a little bit more after hearing all these comments. I put them in there to trigger people and I put them in there to entertain you guys. You have something else to do while you're watching a video, look for the hidden Ouya's. I haven't been doing it as often as I used to, but I will continue as long as I'm on YouTube to do a few of them every now and then. But the thing is that as I continued to do gaming setup tours like every two years, those kind of comments about the Ouya just suddenly stopped. Why did that happen? I have a few explanations. One is that the way YouTube recommends videos has changed. So all those naysayers who uh, just 
watch the video just to leave a negative comment and leave. They may not be getting recommended videos like that anymore. Instead, they're getting recommended something else. Also, YouTube rewards positive comments more often than it used to. If you go down below on, and on other videos on YouTube, you'll see that they're sorted with the most popular comments near the top. Near the bottom are the, le are the least popular ones. But more specifically, I've noticed that positive comments rise to the top. Unless a bunch of people reply to some of those negative comments, then that scoots it up a little bit. It could be that since people who post negative comments realize that their comments are going to be posted beyond the view of most people, it de-incentivizes them for leaving such a comment. So that comment sorting system may have changed their actual behavior. But the third explanation, and I think this is the big one, is that people have changed. They no longer want to point out a terrible game system and just make that the center of their comment. Back many, many years ago, there was kind of this, what I call, fail culture going on in the YouTube community and in the retro gaming community in particular. I think it might have been spearheaded by Angry Video Game Nerd. He didn't do a Ouya video, but he would point out how the Atari Jaguar failed and how, you know, the Atari 5200 failed. It became kind of like a meme, but I think people were very interested in things that failed and that drove a lot of retro traffic back and forth on YouTube. After Anger Video Game Nerd made that kind of content popular, everyone started doing it. But it had a limited shelf life. I think people have changed. And the king of all fail is the ET video game. I actually made a documentary about the failings of the community in its assessment of E.T. So watch that video if you haven't already. It's really, really good. And I actually have hidden Ouyas in that video as well. The thing is, n not everyone has the time to examine every game system in detail and read the Wikipedias and play the systems themselves or so something. All of us n have a need to simplify information. So when a large number of people start saying that something has failed, then everyone grabs onto it and they repeat it. In the case of E.T., uh, they overpiled their criticisms on it. I, I'm not going to say it was a successful game or whatever. And I'm not going to say that the, the Ouya was successful. I'm just saying that uh, people who have never played the Ouya will just take the information from the greater you know, YouTube community or whatever, everything they read online, and just make an assessment saying that, that the system failed and so forth. So it's very easy to hate something once you see a lot of other people doing it. I mentioned how they don't have time to examine all these things, but I do believe they have collected more wisdom over the years of being on YouTube. And because of people like me talking about these things, I do think they just have a different view on things. I think uh, if I made a Ouya video that just highlighted what you can still do with the Ouya today, I might actually do that, by the way. I don't think there's gonna be that many people complaining about it. I think they're gonna be curious and they wanna learn more and they wanna learn what games did they miss from the Ouya or whatever. So that's my thoughts about this whole Ouya situation. I hope you found it informative. There's a couple more videos on the screen right here. Thank you for watching this video and long live Ouya.